Traders, a short recap of a losing day. As you can see here, I have many more losers than winners. Actually, not many more. Three losers than, uh, and two winners. But my winners are small. I didn't trust the market to go up that much. So quantity-wise, I was with small quantity. And although if you take a look at the S&P 500, uh, a big, big surprise because that doesn't usually happen. Now, take a look at what's going on here. Uh, we had a real crash as we came down. I mean, if you take a look at the Nasdaq, it was down 3.4%. I can't remember how much the S&P was down. But look at what happened since. We just moved over the highs, which is, in my opinion, just unbelievable. And I do feel like I'm the only one who's losing money in the market today because I couldn't enjoy this uh, first move down. It just was too dangerous to trade. You need to remember, I, 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 I did have a fantastic chance to make a lot of money today. If you watch almost every stock that moved today, like Tesla, whatever. I mean, they all crashed down right at the open. When, but when the market's just crashing down at the open, you can't follow it. It's not the right thing to do. Ever once in a while, yes, you can make a lot of money. That happened today. Now, is that something that uh, you should expect? That's something you should follow? That's something you should do the next time when you see the market coming down? Absolutely not. You're not supposed to be doing that. Yes, so I was sitting on my hands and watching the market crashing down and feeling like I'm the only person not enjoying <laughs> shorting today. And um, I went long. Now, if you, if you wonder why did I go long? Well, the answer lies in two stocks that, in fact, I was prepared to go long with pre-market time. And that was MGM and uh, Win. So casino stocks are doing uh, good today. So if you take a look at uh, MGM and Win, why did this? They both started with a gap up today. So something good's going on in the casino industry. I don't care what. But they both started with a gap up today. And they looked good. And then they crashed down because the market crashed down. And then I took the first pullback. In Win it was somewhere around here. In MGM it was somewhere around here. And they both moved up very nice. However, you know, the market was crashing. I didn't feel comfortable going long, uh, large size. So uh, relatively small winners in MGM and in Win. And then you look at the S&P 500 and you don't really expect it to continue up that much. So the first pullback came here. That would be a reasonable point to think that the market pulled back enough from the lows and then start coming down. That was the point where I started shorting. Um, my first shorts came in there and none of them worked. Uh, DKNG, uh, Mara and Riot. And they are all relatively weak. So when I was going long, I went long two stocks, MGM and... Um, and uh, win, uh, which are both in green territory. When I went long, they were both green. If you look at uh, Riot and Mara, they're down 20%. So you, you, you show the stock that is uh, weaker than the market, much weaker than the market. I mean, the stock is down 20%, DKNG also. So you short stocks which are, compared to the market, are extremely weak, expecting that even if the market is going to continue higher, you could still have a good uh, green day. But, well, that just didn't happen. The first initial move of the market down was too dangerous to take. The second one was wrong. I mean, they did not come down. So, end result, I do feel like I'm the only one, only person in the world losing money today, but <laughs> I guess I'm not. Anyway, um, I wish you all the best. Just enjoy the rest of your trading day and uh, I'm done for the day with a losing day. And that's it for me. Um, so see you all tomorrow. Bye traders and stay green as much as you can.